Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I'm here to do a general reading for the beautiful Scorpio Collective. I will, you beautiful souls, have been blissed. I will, everything is everything with you all. Healthy, wealthy, strong, feeling good. Everything is everything on my side of the planet. I wanted to go ahead and tap in. It is officially Scorpio season. So it's only right that I go ahead and get a beautiful Scorpio reading done for the Scorpios. This will be a general reading. So my spill, you already know what it is. Eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly by. Meaning do not pick it up. Do not try to force a story to be your story. Just leave it there if it doesn't apply. My readings are also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, beloveds, that was the divine timing and in divine order that you was meant to do so. Uh, I want to give you a little disclaimer, a forewarning. You will hear a chirp. That is my fire alarm that has been going crazy for the past couple of days. I put in work order for maintenance to come and change the batteries. I am too short. Otherwise, I would have did it myself. So I just got to be patient and wait. So I do apologize in advance for the chirp, chirp, chirp. You will hear throughout the reading. Unfortunately, ain't nothing I could do about it. It was either not do the reading or do the reading. And I chose to do the reading because you all are deserving of a reading. Um, for anyone that may be new, welcome, welcome, welcome to the platform, to the channel. I will that my energy, my vibe, that the reading all resonates with you. To anyone that is returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. I ask, beloveds, that you reciprocate by hitting the like button. That is the only way that this reading can get into the algorithm so that others can discover the messages. So please be kind and hit that like button. That is all I ask. I don't ask for a donation. I don't ask for any monetary gifts. Just hit the like button. That is a beautiful way to show a sister some love. I do do uh, deep dives here. So this will not be a 15, 20 minute reading. This will be a deep dive. So I will go into depths, beloved. So that is all I ask. Pay it forward. <laughs> uh, for anybody that may be new again, my name is Q. I channel messages intuitively. I am clairaudient and I'm also an empath. Uh, being that I am clairaudient, you will hear music playing in the background. And the way that that works is the messages within the song, the name of the song, perhaps the lyrics in the song, name of the artist, sometimes even the timestamp. Um, it will all correlate with what I may be channeling intuitively, as well as what the cards may be showing. Uh, right now we have Ravina Aurora, and the name of the song is called Bloom. So I do feel like things are blossoming for you all. I feel like your hard work is paying off or has paid off. Maybe you all have received some good news. Maybe you all have received some sort of monetary gifts, unexpected income. Maybe you received a yes. Maybe you were just hired or maybe you received some sort of loan, approvals. I'm just seeing like seeds that you have sown in the past. They are now blossoming. They're blooming and you're going to have a harvest. So it's like your hard work has paid off spirit has acknowledged you know and has recognized how diligent you were uh, as well as how dedicated you know I just get this sense of dedication drive willpower you know um, and so things are blooming and blossoming um, I just feel that you're happier I feel your energy is lighter um, and it may have a lot to do with it being your season. You know, when you, you know, when it's your season, beloved, you start feeling yourself. You start like popping that collar a little bit like, yeah, you know, so it's a beautiful, beautiful time for Scorpios. Um, there's uh, a really strong energy that I'm picking up of just like, you know, hard work paying off. And it was through your hard work, your dedication, your drive, your willpower, uh, even your determination you know, it's just like you persevered through, uh, you know, a lot of, of, of difficult uh, circumstances, you know, um, whether that be uh, monetary woes, relationship woes. Uh, maybe some of you all were battle, battling like 
um, health issues, uh, but you've overcome, you know, it's like, you know, it's almost like that scene in, in Rocky where you reach the top of the stairs and you got your arms up in a victory dance. And that's what I'm seeing in my mind's eye. So it's a beautiful energy that I'm picking up on. So, uh, I love the way that feels. Um, so we will proceed with the read after I do a sound bath. For you beautiful souls, as I mentioned in a form reading, I would like to start doing sound baths for you all because I feel like it's a beautiful way to prepare you uh, and to get you, you know, grounded, balanced and in alignment so that you can receive these downloads, beloveds, these transmissions. Uh, so it's beautiful to just get your energy centered, grounded and in alignment to receive these messages. So we're going to perform a beautiful sound bath before we go any further. Um, with the uh, reading and once that's done we'll go ahead and proceed with the read as I said but before we do any of that I would like to pay homage and do some house cleaning and I call upon the elements of water fire earth air ether and spirit Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters Spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala and Mama Oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is, so mot it be, Ashe. Ashe, Ashe. So let's go ahead and delve into this beautiful sound bath. If you wish, you may do some deep inhales and exhales. That also helps to ground your energy. And we're going to proceed. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale again. Exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Ah, shame. So let's go ahead and get the sound out. We have Slum Village Climax. So I'm hearing you guys have reached your climax. Like there's some sort of, like I was picking up earlier. This is by Slum Village from the Fantastic Volume 2. So it's like when you climax, you know, even in when you think of um, sexually, it's like you feel like you're on top of the world. It's a feeling of euphoria. So this energy of climax, it's like, it's, it's, it's like, um, it's, it's a really, really exciting, invigorating type of energy that I'm picking up on. Beautiful energy. Um, and look what we have on the bottom of the, the numerology deck. We have teaching and learning here. So this is really about learning life lessons. This 57 breaks down to 12, which is 3. 3 is the number of the solar plexus, so it required a lot of strength. Uh, three is associated with the solar plexus, as I said, so that is the sun that shines within you. In order for that sun to shine, you have to do some healing, beloved. You know, you start at the root, you work your way up to the sacral, and that three 
that solar plexus that shines because of the healing, because of you being very grounded, balanced, and in alignment. You standing perpendicular in your square. You feeling that sense of security and, and stability, self-sufficiency. Um, also, just, you know, prioritizing you. Self-love, self-care, self-value, knowing who you are. So when you are in this, this energy of three, that's even associated with the empress. That's an energy of power. That's an energy of a master manifester. Three is a powerful, powerful number of manifestation. Um, this is also speaking to uh, your ability, you know, to to, you know, co-create with source even, you know, planning and preparing perhaps your next move. But with this teaching and learning, I definitely feel like you were the student and now you may be the teacher in a lot of ways because of what you've learned. Uh, that is a very studious energy, but it's also an energy where you are um, very proactive. It's like you, you've turned that knowledge into wise dome, you know, because you're applying what you've learned throughout this journey. Um, you're applying it now. And the application of knowledge is wise dome, is wisdom. So this is a beautiful energy. That's why Climax is playing, because I, I'm getting a sense that you, you, you just feel very uh, fulfilled, very elated. Uh, maybe even content in a lot of ways. Uh, something that you may not have felt for a very long time or ever for that matter. So on the split, we have 78 spiritual career. So what did I say about you all being the student and then you become the teacher? So if you are going to pursue a spiritual career, it's obviously due in part to something you've learned from your experiences. Uh, maybe you've discovered that you have a spiritual gift. Uh, maybe this is how you've discovered, um, you know, what your soul's purpose, your path, your life path mission is. Um, they are currently celebrating Diwali in Hindu culture. And today is the day of Lakshmi. It's a day to pay homage. So some of you all may want to, um, you know, pay, do a, a spell to Lakshmi where you, uh, cause she's the goddess of fortune and prosperity and beauty. Uh, so some of you divine feminine and divine masculines may want to pay homage and, and, and bliss, um, bliss that beautiful goddess, uh, you know, by, by really honoring her. Um, and giving offerings with uh, this spiritual career, I definitely get a strong sense that a lot of you all are very psychic. The 78 reduces to 15, which is six. Six is associated with the first eye. So you are very intuitive. I feel like a lot of you listen to your intuition now, which is something that you had to learn to do because I feel like maybe in the past when you didn't, it led to heartbreak because again, that 57 reduces to 12, which is three. So that could be associated with like the three of swords uh, where you suffered heartbreak. Maybe there was some sort of uh, third party or you felt like the third wheel or you may have felt, you know, very... Um, very much unfulfilled or dissatisfied with a situation. Right now we have Toby Nwigi and this is called I'm Dope. So you definitely realize how dope you were. You definitely realized, you know, that um, you are absolutely a blessing. It is your birthright, whether divine masculine or feminine, uh, that it is your birthright to live in abundance, to live in, you know, in, in, in opulence, to have this fantastic life opposed to living this very daunting, stressful, gloomy, depressed, you know, in, in state, you know, when you have a spiritual career, uh, I feel like some of you all may be in the arts in some way, you know, maybe you are uh, alchemists, magis, maybe you all are intuitives, you may do readings, you may be psychics, um, you may be channelers, you may be scryers, uh, you have some sort of skill, maybe you're alchemist where you're crafting uh, oils and candles and maybe you make jewelry, protective jewelry. Uh, maybe you all are, you know, witches, who know. Um, whatever it is, I do feel like you've learned something through the experience that you've you've gone through and it has awakened perhaps your purpose. It's awakened you to your purpose. So this is beautiful energy. Um, and this six and three, you know, reduces to the number nine and nine is the highest number of change. So that means you're birthing something 
that has been really, you know, incubating within you. You're birthing some new idea, new perspective, because that's what the Empress energy does. She births new ideas, new ways of thinking, new projects. Uh, so that is a very powerful energy um, that you all are in right now. So that's beautiful. I love that. So divine spirit of love and light. What's coming in for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love and of light. Divine spirit may I have a message of love and light for my beautiful Scorpios. Uh, spirit of love and light, I have a message for my beautiful Scorpios. Scorpio seasons, beloved. This is this is our time. This is why we're here. This is a very exciting time. I'm like so elated. You know, I know a lot of you all have something really beautiful happening. You know, it's like spirit is gifting you. You know, gifting you with a solar return gift. That's what I keep hearing. Solar return gift. Like y'all are going to be blissed during these autumn seas, this autumn season. You know, it's about to be ooh, something very beautiful is taking place. So I'm hearing one, two more. And we got four SMDs. Love is a house, beloved. So that came out in the Yang reading that I just did. Love is a house. So someone, some of you all are realizing that like, you know, love is an inside job. That's one of the things that I always say. Um, Self-love is very attractive. So perhaps that's something that you all are focusing more on is self-love. Um, and when you love yourselves, you're teaching other people, whether you know this or not, uh, that, you know, they're going to have to come correct, beloveds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So when you're treating yourself good and you pampering yourself, you're getting your hair and nails did, you're getting your beard done, you're getting your hair lined up, you're grooming yourself, you're taking care of yourself. That's a part of self-love, self-care. So when you do those things, I definitely feel like it absolutely makes you more attractive. But I'm also getting a sense that someone is realizing that your love is a house, meaning you fulfill someone's every need. Maybe you are someone that is the source of someone's happiness. Maybe you are the reason why somebody is very excited or very, you know, very much in the space where they feel um, like you fulfill their something like there's something that you fulfill, you know, a void that you fulfill. Maybe you make them feel um, I'm hearing you make them feel brand new. For God bless me with... So I'm hearing that in my mind's eye. So maybe this is somebody that definitely, you know, that you are familiar with, that you may have some sort of roots with, you know, someone that's familiar with you. It could be a secret admirer. It could be someone from your past because we did see that um, spiritual career, which was six. Six is associated with the lovers. It's also associated, I see like the six of cups. So someone from your past, um, but also someone that could see you uh, as their divine counterpart. Because uh, the lovers is really about that yin yang energy that's masculine and feminine. And the beautiful depiction of that card, I always remind everyone, uh, whether they are familiar with the cards or not, the decks or not, is that there's an angel that oversees that powerful union between that masculine and feminine. And what's beautiful is the feminine is looking up at the angel as if she's aware of this divine uh, connection or spiritual uh, connection she has with the masculine whereas the masculine is looking over to the feminine so with that teaching and learning card that we just saw maybe there's an, ess an essence of uh, someone has been triggered uh, by the divine feminine or by the divine masculine regardless of gender um, someone has been triggered by the other person. So you all uh, going on your spiritual journey, doing your dark night of the soul journey has awakened someone else because that's literally what happens when you start, um, you know, your healing process. And when you start going through that dark night of the soul journey, you start growing and evolving and others watching and stalking you from a distance maybe stalking is a very you know that's an overloaded you know that's that's that's, that's that's a little bit that's too much okay maybe someone watching you you know admiring you from a distance um could feel inspired you know to do some work on themselves you know because maybe they realize like dang you changing you transforming they don't want to get left behind so maybe they start working on themselves to catch up you know uh, to stay in alignment with you. So they're watching and learning from you as they go, as they grow. Um, even whether or not you all are in, in uh, you know, in you, like, 
I don't get a sense of communication, um, but I do get a sense of someone keeping in, you know, keeping tabs, you know, staying abreast, seeing what's going on, um, whether the other person is aware of it or not. And I do feel the other person is aware of it, whether this is you, Scorpio, because you all are very, you know, very, you're Scorpios, you're psychic. Um, you know what I'm saying? You're intuitive. And we just saw, you know, that that uh, 78 card, which reduced to 15, which was six. It says spiritual career. So I'm assuming this is you all uh, that you all are very psychic so you could be picking up on the fact that you know you may have some some folks that could be admiring you from a distance or watching you or keeping tabs on you beloveds um so that's a very interesting energy so let's see what we got next so we got jodeci and this is called cry for you so we have nine on the bottom of the deck completion beloveds so completions that means something has come full circle I just spoke to, you know, that six and that three from, you know, the 78. And then we had the 57 teaching and learning. And I said six and three reduces to nine. And nine is the highest number of change. That's also associated with the hermit. So the hermit is very much a wizard. The wizard knows the answers he seeks or she seeks are found where? Within. So you have to do that, that inner work, which is why you was already showing up in that solar plex energy remember i said you got to heal thyself you got to heal you know from past wounds traumas you know pains circumstances you got to heal all of that to get to that place of self-love self-care where you're moving up to the sacral then you're moving up to that third chakra which is the self-realization of you know standing in your power standing in your ground speaking up for yourself standing up for yourself that's a very powerful you know energy to be in it's also about tapping into that inner wisdom because your solar plexus or your stomach which is where the solar plexus is is literally like your second brain so it's about following that gut instinct. It's about following your intuition. So it's very much the same energy as like, you know, being very discerning or intuitive. So with this nine completion, this is about wrapping up a cycle. The overall energy is you all have completed a cycle. And remember in the very beginning when we had Ravina playing Bloom. And I was saying, I just get a sense of you all, you know, coming out of something very toxic. But now there's like your hard work, your efforts, your determination, your drive, your will has gotten you to this point where you're being recognized, you're being acknowledged, and you're going to be celebrated. You know, you're going to be rewarded, more importantly, and, and you're being acknowledged uh, by the divine. You know, this nine, the hermit, like I said, that's a wizard. So this is about self-reflection. This is about introspection. This is about self-awareness, but this is also about looking back um, at circumstances that have already taken place and learning from them, you know, so as not to go forward making the same mistakes. So, you know, a lesson will repeat itself until you learn the lesson, you know, and when you learn the lesson, then that's when you, you know, you move on to the next lesson, you move on to the next chapter, to the next level. And so I think that's exactly what this nine is all about, taking that time before you move into the next venture or into that next cycle of life. Uh, and, and you just take the time out to assess, you know, to really do some self-assessment. And, um, and that's a beautiful energy. So there's a powerful new beginning that's taking place on the bottom of the deck. We got 14 and this is moderation. So moderations is, are again, speaking to changes, shifts, uh, shifts in one's consciousness as well. Uh, but the 14 reduces to five. So there's absolutely this energy of, you know, someone that may not be communicating with you at this time, because remember, we have Jodeci cry for you. So there could be someone who is, you know, kind of like, you know, really missing you because I get a sense of someone that has regrets because the five is giving me regrets. It's also giving me a sense of someone being very like anxious, uh, very conflicted mentally. Um, but they are crying for you because they miss you. They, they long for you. They yearn for you. Uh, but they are making changes within themselves. Uh, I feel like they also want to change the dynamic of this connection, change the dynamic of this relationship. So they know that they have to work on themselves, uh, because they've watched you work on yourselves and you all are wrapping up a cycle, um, with this nine completion. And like the card said, teaching and learning. So as you were learning, you were teaching another person. You could be the student and the teacher at the same time, unbeknownst to you. 
because you never know who's watching, who's in, getting inspired, or who you're motivating, um, or who you're just awakening, you know. So, you know, Scorpios are conduits of change. So you could be really, you know, triggering something in someone uh, to change, you know, for the better. So this is powerful. So this 14 uh, is on the bottom of the deck. So let's see what we got. So who's this person I love? Scorpios is attracting. They have a message of love and light. And we have Mary J. Blige, everything. So this person thinks everything of you. I get a sense. I, I just feel because what she says is you are everything and everything is you. So this person thinks that you are everything. In other words, they think the world of you. And so what we have is 41 self-discipline. So this is that 14 reversed. So they are learning. This is the self self. This is the self uh, care, the self discipline is about you know prioritizing yourself this is about putting you first this is still five so these are the moderations and changes this person is making on themselves because it says self-discipline key word so they are learning to you know really stand up you know for what they believe in maybe they never had a voice maybe this is a part of the reason why um, communication is something they may struggle with because maybe they lacked confidence maybe they weren't as assertive uh, but this person really thinks everything of you thinks the world of you they think ev you know like you are everything um, you know maybe this person really desires to communicate with you but they are trying to you know figure out how to come towards you because of the regret that they feel but with self-discipline I get a strong sense of them really working on themselves and and really mustering up that that courage and that strength um, in order to be assertive or in order to build up that confidence the five is associated with the heart chakra I mean the throat chakra and so maybe this person really would like to express some things um, in relation to their emotions uh, because the heart and the throat chakra you know are you know like one <laughs> they're one in the same is like is like you know you, you, they want to speak what's in their heart in other words is what I'm trying to say uh, with self-discipline I, I get a strong sense that they have been really trying to um, you know work on their 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 uh, confidence um, on really their assertiveness um, and trying to muster up the strength the five is uh, the uh, hierophant and traditional tarot. So I've in, in you know the major arcana. So I do get a sense of them like learning um, because that's a very you know that's an energy of like seeking wise counsel, um, higher learning, studentship, studious energy. Uh, so they could be really working on the self, growing. Um, maturing it's about mat you know maturation at the end of the day and I feel like it's because they've been watching you you are everything so they think that you are everything you are beautiful you are strong you are handsome you are a go-getter all of those you know words I was using in the beginning this is what they think of you they think the world of you I kept hearing they think the world of you on the bottom of the deck we got 61 self-love so maybe this person struggled with confidence uh, because this is a lesson you know, that I feel like, you know, they see you in this light because I'm about to pull the energy of how they feel about you. And it says self-love. So you ain't like I said earlier, you know, self-love is attractive, but self-love, you know, love is an inside job. And they see now that you love yourselves very much. You're prioritizing you first and foremost. You're no longer appeasing to please. You're no longer going above and beyond. You're no longer doing all of that because that was almost like self-sabotage. So it's like now you're very much, um, you're putting you first. You know, you, you've you you've grown to, to understand um, that you have to establish boundaries. Uh, so that they absolutely are learning from you because their energy is self-discipline. Uh, maybe this is someone who is very immature or very like, I get a sense of like um, impulsive, you know, they could have been impulsive, compulsive, or maybe they just weren't as expressive. They would repress, you know, and, and I, I feel like there's a lot of ego associated with this as well, which is why they had to learn. They had to mature and grow up. Um, but with you, your energy, the 61 reduces to seven. That's the chariot. They see you powering ahead. They see you as confident. They see you as balanced. They see you as healed. They, they see all of these things that really inspires them. 
um, and more importantly, attracts them. So this is beautiful energy. So the 61, like I said, that's the seven. Um, this is also like, you know, with that bloom card, I'm getting like the seven of pentacles. You may have felt like you, you, you know, um, you was like, you were shortchanged to a degree, you know, like I get a sense of like you really putting a lot, investing a lot because on that seven of pentacles like that, that's a lot of hard work. You know, that's a lot of, you know, like you, you cultivated those relationships. You really put your hands in the soil, planted those seeds. You was really tending to the soil, to the earth, you know, to, to produce this harvest, but you didn't feel fulfilled. And I get a sense that this person is perhaps looking at maybe their past um, behavior or if this is someone that you are familiar with which is what I'm getting a sense of and they're looking at how you have flipped that you've transformed you know that attitude from being like woe is me uh, or victimhood to like I'm gonna be the victor and I'm still gonna persevere and push forward and and this is the self-love so instead of like you know giving so much of yourself to others you said you know what I'm going to I'm going to take care of me and I'm going to establish those boundaries. So that's a very protective energy. You put yourself in a protective bubble and created more of like a safe haven for yourself. Um, even a sanctuary with love is a house. It's like maybe you really just started focusing on yourself, your family, your, your home. You know, you became very self-sufficient, um, you know, independent, self-reliant. Uh, and they're seeing this in you. Maybe they didn't see your worth, see your value in the past. Um, we got Tony, 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 whatever you want. So now this person, like I said, they, they think the world of you. So they're willing to give you whatever you want. They feel like you can get whatever you want, whomever you want. I heard whatever. And then I heard whom very loud in my mind's eye. So they definitely are feeling like you're very, you know, like you're, you're a catch is what I'm hearing. You know, you're the, you're a catch, whether masculine or feminine. So we have two cards that just flew out for how they feel about you. So they definitely see you as very intuitive. And we got teaching and learning just flew right back out. Look at that. And I shuffled the mess out of these cards. So I just want to show you. So we got the 22 and then we got teaching and learning. So you've grown to trust your intuition. You know, they, they see that you are very intuitive, which is what I was picking up earlier because of the 78, the 15, which reduced to six, which is associated with the first die. So, you know, the intuition card flew out. So this is you, like when it comes to matters of the heart, remember I was saying like um, this person wants to express um, their emotions. Uh, this 2-2, two, two, whenever I see double numbers, for those of you that may be new, I always feel like this is you and the person you're attracting kind of mirroring one another energetically. So the 2 is associated with the high priestess. So that 2 is telling me that this person is also intuitive and you are intuitive. And just as I was saying, it's like you're picking up these messages that they could be sending to you telepathically, intuitively. Maybe this is someone that's just constantly thinking of you and you're picking up on them energetically. Whatever it is, they are watching you. Um, with this teaching and learning, they feel like you've learned a lot. Uh, this four and this three reduces to seven again. And that seven is associated with the crown chakra. So 22, I just want to show you the math. 22, that's four. 57, that's 12. That reduces to three. So four and three is seven. So that is the first eye. I mean the crown chakra, pardon me. So that crown chakra just speaks to personal growth. Um, being able to, you know, tap into that higher self, uh, receiving those downloads, those transmissions, even having lucid dreams. Maybe some of you all are having like deja vu. Uh, but these are literally like um, you are like literally receiving a lot of um, divine downloads or divine interventions at this time. Very wise, very intuitive, very informed, um, just high energy psychically. Uh, and this person really sees that that could be the reason why they were perhaps a little intimidated or why they may be a little intimidated because you just feel like like they feel like you could just get what you want. You can manifest what you want. Maybe they see you as a master manifester, um, but they also get a sense of you just being someone that has grown, has matured. Um, you wisened up. I'm hearing in my mind's eye. So we have 32 music here. So this person listens to music that reminds them of you. And we have um, Stevie Wonder, never dreamed you'd leave in summer. Wow. Um, so this person never. So maybe some of you all lost contact during the summertime. Um, 
this person definitely uh, didn't expect to be in separation or no contact, no communication. Um, they didn't foresee this. Maybe something was going on uh, behind the scenes. I was picking up like third party. I was picking up like heartbreak. Someone wasn't perhaps making enough effort. Uh, someone was playing a little games. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was trying to be, wanted someone to chase them and, you know, very egotistical energy, you know, very bravado or just someone very bratty and, you know, very self centered. I'm picking up on. And um, I just get a sense of someone just not playing the game uh, and, and just kind of like parting ways. But with this 32 music, uh, some of you all, you know, may play instruments, may be musicians. Um, I'm hearing hip hop artists. Maybe you're a reggae artist. Maybe you are reggaeton. Maybe you play an instrument. I'm hearing the flute. I'm hearing maybe you are pianists. Um, maybe you play the bass. Maybe you play a guitar. Uh, whatever the case may be, music is like your sanctuary. You love music. You love to listen to music, play music, anything you know relating to music maybe some of you all just play music all night all day while you're resting or you just have music playing behind the scenes whatever the case may be maybe you and this person share um an interest in the same types of music but i'm strongly getting a sense of someone could be clear audience as well uh maybe someone hears songs and again it reminds them of that person makes them want to reach out and communicate because this is the number 32 um and that like i said 32 deals with the throat chakra and the throat chakra is really about expression um so it's not just about expressing yourself communicatively um i do feel this person does want to do that but i also feel like someone some of you all or this person could be very creative or artistic um musically so that's another um sign that may resonate with some of you all and a gazillion cards just flew out. And the first one I saw was spiritual partnership and self-love. So we got three three cards. Like, I mean, uh, you know, this is the second time that self-reference is coming out. Self, self, self. So you do have to, like I said, you got to heal that self in order to love that self. And when you love that self, that means you know that self. And that means you'll know who you are. You'll know what your love language is. And you will teach others, you know, how to treat you in the process. So let's go ahead. I'm going to give my cards a bang, bang, boogie because everything just flew out all crazy like. So let's see. Shuffle it again. And we have the Human League. And this is called Don't You Want Me. So someone definitely, you know, is feeling like they're irresistible. You know, or maybe they're questioning, you know, because maybe somebody's going to return and you know maybe it's just like you know okay you're here and <laughs> maybe you all are not going to respond the way this person's anticipating or expecting or hoping um you know that could be that cockiness that i was picking up on or that ego that i was picking up on and so they're like damn don't you want me like or maybe this is something they're um saying in their head like don't they want me this is what's hidden we're about to pull out what's hidden so that's what's playing right now and I'm hearing spirit saying, because this is the human league, spirit is like, you know, um, they're only human, um, you know, so, you know, we are, none of us are without fault. Nobody's perfect, you know what I'm saying? So let's see. So what's hidden on the energy, we got synchronicity, 87. So that's that 78 we saw flipped. So 87 still reduces to 15, 15 still reduces to 6. So this is about you and this person being in sync, in harmony, on the same frequency, on the same wavelength, like minds. This is what came out in the yang energy. There's a like mind that you have this very synergetic uh, connection to. Um, and maybe they could be doing some sort of like visualizations you know, like sending telepathic messages. Don't you want me? Don't, <laughs> don't you want me? You want me. You love me. You know, who knows? But this is saying synchronicity. So there's something that you're, you, you and this person's energy um, is intertwined. There's, an, there's something very special I'm hearing in my mind's eye. And this is someone from your past. Uh, this is that perhaps that 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 lovers I was picking up because 87 reduces to 15 that's six so this could be like you know that person that feels like you're the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin that cosmic companion the one that got away um, this person lets you slip away and I feel like they're returning uh, and they may return um, 
with this, you know, with the, with very humbly, like, you know, don't you want me? Don't you want to repair this? Don't you want to work things out? You know what I'm saying? Because they, they really, they're really feeling you. This is someone that realizes like you're the source of their happiness. Remember, love is a house. You, you are the very definition of love. I feel like they feel they can have that happy house, happy spouse type of energy and vibe with you like that happily ever after. Like you would be a solid partner that you would be that person they can, you know, laugh with, play with, lay with, you know, and pray with. This is that type of energy where this person really feels this very strong chemistry between the two of you. Um and love, you know, they have this affinity, this affection, um and adoration, you know, towards you. And um they, they want you to want them, you know, because they do want you. On the bottom of the deck, we have 88 abundance. So there is an abundance of love. This 88 card is a pink card. And pink is associated with the heart chakra. Uh, this is, again, a double number. Remember what I said about double numbers. Uh, for those of you who are new, whenever I see them, that tells me that this is you and the person you're attracting, kind of like in the same energy. And so with that eight, that's associated with the star card because that 17 reduces to eight, but it's also associated with the strength. So this person may see you as a star, a wish fulfillment, someone that radiates love, light, someone that shines bright, someone that just emits just beautiful, positive energy, just an energy that is, you know, it draws others in. You have this magnetic pull. Um, they may see you as a star. They may see you uh, in the spotlight. You may be getting some sort of recognition. As I said earlier, I was picking up on someone that was kind of like watching you from a distance, um, you know, and just kind of admiring your growth. Um, you know, you just kind of leveling up, you know, you you elevating, you ascending to higher, uh, you know, to, to new heights, you know, just growing. And so this person's really admiring that. That 16 reduces to seven. So I feel like they're going to move out of the admiring you from a distance and they're going to take action because that seven is the uh, chariot. So the chariot is going to move with a force and that force is really about being assertive because now they feel balanced now there's the sense of being balanced knowing what they want knowing how to push forward because they've taken the time to find equilibrium within the self and they're going to come towards you there's going to be an abundance of I feel emotional fulfillment because this is a pink card as I said which is associated with the heart chakra and so that speaks to emotional fulfillment but it also could be that this person speaks your love language now um, and there's going to be an abundance of love there's going to be an, a, a feeling of elation and joy you're going to be feel very excited um, very overwhelmed. Um, we have uh, Nas last words. So perhaps, you know, um, the last time you and this person spoke, perhaps it wasn't, you know, it wasn't kind or it didn't, it didn't end well, you know, which is why I get a sense of this person kind of being a little hesitant to come towards you, um, you know, even questioning like, don't you want me? Because, you know, maybe they said some things and that's why you put up that protective wall. That's why they see you in this energy of being very guarded, uh, protecting your energy, having these boundaries, you know. Um, but I do feel like it's because of maybe the last words they spoke to you were unkind. You know, we're very like cold, very brash. Because uh, I was picking up on someone who could have been very immature or just emotionally stunted, like not really on your level emotionally you know so they had to mature they had to grow uh someone who was also very egotistical or someone bratty you know just somebody who's just me 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 you know or wants someone to chase them and wants someone to bend over backwards for them but not willing to to reciprocate so i do feel like there's going to be some sort of um efforts you know this person is going to make the effort uh so let's see what is the outcome uh, for my beloved Scorpios, may I have a message of love and of light? So we have a couple of messages. Nah, that's too many. I was going to pull them out, but there was like five, six, seven cards. Nah, you're not doing that. Bang, bang, boogie, boogie, boogie. Thank you, spirit. Give it another shuffle. So we could get some clear and concise messages for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. Thank you. I'm going to give it one more cut. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, overall energy. And we have healing, 66. Another card that's double. 
So this is speaking again, both of you all healing, and now you're trusting your intuition. You're using discernment moving forward, which is why this person is being led to you. Remember what I said, you have to first heal thyself in order to love thyself. When you love thyself, you now know thyself. The 66 reduces to 12, that's three. So now this person wants to return. This is someone that wants to reunite. They want to reconnect. Um, this could be that person that broke your heart, hurt you, um, disappointed you in the past uh, because of their their words. They, you know, like I said, the tongue is a weapon, um, you know, and sometimes when people just fly off, you know, the handle, they could say things that's very hurtful, very damaging. And one thing you can't do is ever take back what you said. And so, you know, because it, 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 it man, it could sting, you know, um, so perhaps this is, you know, the case where someone could have said some things that they regret and someone has really taken a lot of time to heal. I feel this person has also been healing themselves because maybe they recognized um, something that was, um, you know, something that was off within themselves that they wanted to balance or they wanted to heal. Uh, maybe that's a learned behavior to just, you know, just say things without really uh, thinking, uh, you know, thinking things through. Um, maybe they do that as a defense mechanism. Um, maybe this was just, you know, as I said, just someone who was uh, very cocky. Um, and let me see, what is that? I don't know who that is or what that is. All right, pardon me. So we got number three, creativity on the bottom of the deck. So that's a beautiful energy. What did I say? That, that three really is about birthing new ideas creatively, you know, new projects, new, new ways of thinking. This could be some of you uh, divine feminines who could be pregnant. You just found out you were pregnant with child. Uh, maybe some of you masculines just found out someone that you was dealing with is pregnant with child. Or maybe you have children already, whatever the case may be. Um, this is a beautiful radiant energy uh, because this is an all yellow card. And yellow is really, you know... Um, you know, associated with that, that third chakra again, you know, this is the number three. So that that's the solar plexus again, the sun, the sun that shines within. So this really is about strength and courage, wisdom, um, and moving forward, you know, with that, with that energy, that confidence, uh, with that self-determination, that drive, that self-love, self-care attitude, uh, because you're, you're trusting and relying on your inner wisdom, your inner compass. So that's a beautiful energy of power of you know resilience and strength so that's beautiful so let's see what we got next we are going to utilize next look at this i picked up the witch's wisdom deck and we have look at that power beloveds power and I just said that with the creativity card. So you're in your power, you're in your bag. And it's no surprise because what? This is your season. <laughs> Welcome to Scorpio season. That's dope. Wiccan read ethos on the split. Some of you all could be really doing some, um, some powerful uh, spells. Make sure that you stay within the bylaws. Make sure you don't take away anyone's free liberties. Make sure you're throwing things out there that ain't you don't want coming back. Boomerang effect. Remember, you are not the only one that could practice that. You know, the, the magic. You, you know, somebody could be returning things right on back to sender. And um, you know, so be mindful of what you're doing. Um, but some of you all could just really simply just be, you know, doing little manifestation spells for like, you know, as I said, today is, um, uh, Lakshmi, uh, the, the great goddess. And she is all about, uh, fortune and prosperity and even beauty. So some of you all could be giving offerings to Lakshmi, doing a ritual to honor Lakshmi. So that could be something you all are doing. We have cloak on the bottom of the deck. Um, and we have a couple of cards that flew out. So be mindful um, with this. Maybe there is some entity or energy around you that you are unfamiliar with. And you need to be mindful of um, perhaps what you're sharing, what you're doing. Uh, this could even just be speaking to someone who you may not know is there, but they're there. Uh, this is somebody who's concealing themselves, not really showing their hand or not really letting you know they're there. 
Uh, but remember what I said about your intuition. You're on it. <laughs> you could feel energy. So like whether they reveal themselves or not, you already know they're there watching, stalking. We have Nas um, and this is called If I Rule the World. Um, so this person, this is somebody that is like very, I just feel like this is someone very manipulative uh, because someone that wants to rule the world um, is somebody who could be like a control freak or someone who is like power hungry. Um, I feel like a lot of you all, because we are about to clarify the non-completion card and this card is on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like maybe you all have wrapped up a cycle with someone that you felt was like a hidden enemy or someone you was like, you know, you were sleeping with the enemy or some sort of fugazi type of energy, some sort of snake or someone that just was not, um, really a positive uh um influence in your life because you just felt like they kept secrets uh with that wiccan read that just showed up i do get a sense of this person like being into uh the dark art so just you know be mindful um because that person you know when someone wants to rule the world that means they're very manipulative um this could have been someone who was concealing um, you know, what they were truly after. So that's someone that was wearing a mask or someone that was really like, um, had some hidden agenda or some hidden motives. Uh, and maybe you all discovered that because this non-completion, you're wrapping that up. It's like, wrap it up. You're like, you're done. You're done, done, Finn. So we have Watchtower of the North Winter. So this person, what did I say about somebody watching? You know, whenever I see the winter, this is somebody that you had some sort of ending with because the winter time is when everything is dead. So I feel like, you know, something was not growing or progressing within the connection with this person. And so things just kind of naturally just died out. It, it died. It dead. But they are still keeping tabs or still watching you uh, from this watchtower. Um, this is someone who still has an interest, as I was saying before, with the teaching and learning. Someone has to be learning from you because they're watching you. They can't learn unless they're watching, um, you know, and they're watching your transformation. They're watching you um, evolve. So the next energy we have is banishment. So this is Hex. Look at that. I was picking up on a dark energy. So the person you're attracting, it says self-discipline. So someone could have been dealing with somebody that was in the arts because look at this concealment card. Someone didn't realize, you know, perhaps someone that they could have chosen over you because I was getting a sense of like the five of cups, which is usually like associated with like, you know, regret, somebody who has regrets. And with that six, you know, I was picking up the lovers, but I also said the six of cups is like somebody that now wants to return. Um, because maybe they've discovered like what they went after wasn't worth nothing. Um, and this was that person that was trying to control things if I ruled the world. So they were probably like very manipulative, um, energetically, uh, you know, doing spells This with that Wiccan read. It's a reminder. It's a law that you are to stay within the read. You are to stay within the constructs of magical, you know, of laws. Like you are not to go against the grain when it comes to magic. You can't take away people's free liberties. You can't do anything um, where you're harming other people or else that ish can come right back. Laws of karma, universal law. So whoever this person was dealing with, with the self-discipline, I definitely feel like they were learning some things. Um, and this energy of self-discipline is really uh, about, you know, um, looking at perhaps themselves um, and assessing things, you know, really looking at the overall picture. But this person had someone that was doing um, some sort of spells or had them, con you know, contained, you know, maybe this is someone who was doing like binding spells or someone who was doing freezer spells, just kind of kind of keeping someone put, you know. Um, and this is that person that wanted to come to you, you know, because we got Regina Bell, uh, you know, baby, come to me. And with that bell, I just felt like, uh, you know, that bell went off, like they heard some sort of, um, it was just like a wake up call, sort of, you know, when you ring the bell, it's like a wake up call. So someone kind of snapped out of it. I'm hearing snap out of it. So someone could have been under a spell. I had some sort of witchery done for this hex to come out in self-discipline. So this is about really about, um, you know, obtaining one's, uh, you know, self, self, respect you know self-discipline encompasses self-love self-care self-worth self-value self-respect integrity uh this is about maturation so someone could have been entangled with a very toxic individual that had threw some shit at them to be honest with you and then there was you know they had some sort of wake-up call um 
they had a wake up call because maybe your energy, your vibration um, has triggered something within them. And with baby come to me, they feel drawn to you now. They feel like they want to come to you. And look what we have broomstick clearance. So they've absolutely, you know, have cleared something out of their life. But more importantly, they feel like you have also um, been doing, you know, some clearing of house. Like you've been clean, clearing and cleansing, purging, releasing, getting rid of things. Uh, you've been purifying your energy, rejuvenating your spirit. Um, they see this energy of just growth. And I feel like that's why uh, they've been learning from you because they've watched you literally um, purge, you know, what wasn't serving you, whether energetically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, um, even in love matters. You know, like you've literally been just kind of clearing out what doesn't serve you. And I feel like that has triggered someone um, as well. So let's see. Let me get bang, bang, boogie on the card. All right. So why is sing I want to get one more because I'm curious to know. See this secret. We got secret here, book of shadows. And this is clarifying because I wanted to see what this hex was here about. So someone absolutely was sleeping with an enemy. You know, this is this is like a hidden enemy. Because, you know, when you have that 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 concealment card, you know, um, I, I always get bad, bad energy, bad vibes from that card. I never get nothing good or or you know. Good and I don't get any positive energy from that. So with Hex and Secret, someone was definitely the Book of Shadows is really a, a book of your magical spells. You know, it's just like a recipe book for magical spells that someone has been doing. And it's obviously with the Hex, uh, this person has been really um, working very diligently. They've been, you know, also getting seeking wise counsel from elders. Maybe they've been going to priests, pastors to have that ish exercised from them them demons exercised off of them maybe they've been doing their own spiritual baths maybe they've been you know doing uh you know cleansing um of their own energy but whatever this is somebody absolutely had someone uh very stuck uh doing part to these these magical spells and um and this is the person that you are attracting And the, the song that's playing now is You and I by Jodeci. And we're about to clarify 87 synchronicity. And remember, I was picking up on just that energy of synergy and chemistry. So why is the uh, synchronicity card here? And we have masculine. So the divine masculine. For you divine feminines, this is who's coming in. This is that person that feels absolutely like you are that, that divine feminine. The yin to their yang. That goddess. You know, that empress. They feel very much elated, you know. They feel this adoration. And never die. And we have magic here, healing. Someone's healing from someone doing magic spells on them, witchery on them. That's what this is, the 66 magic. See that? With you and I. This is what this person really wants, is to be reunited with you but they have to heal from whatever this is see this we got the 41 self-discipline so someone didn't even realize they were sleeping with the enemy like that could be some sort of incubus a succubus type of energy this is why healing came out because someone is healing from that and then we have power here so they're regaining their power they're regaining their strength and i feel like what keeps them going is the thought of you and them you know kind of like reuniting you know um and repairing this connection is like that could be what keeps them going or what keeps them motivated. And with the 66 candles, it's just confirmation. We had Hex, Book of Shadows coming out for the person you're attracting. And this self-discipline is like maybe someone was chasing the wrong tail. Because remember, I was picking up regret and remorse. And it's like they picked the right one, all right. They picked somebody that was freaking loco. That was 730. <laughs> As we used to say in the BX, like Mofo is 730. Uh, freaking quarter past seven. You know, I'm talking about like this is somebody that doesn't have all their marbles. Because this is somebody that feels like, you know, they got to resort to spells and witchcraft to keep somebody. You know, this is that type of person. You go to their house and they feed in your ass witches brew or. You know, you go to their house and they got ish stuffed all in the car, you know, in the damn 
couches and under the bed and in the freezer. Just crazy ass mofos. You know, don't be, I'm telling you, men, you got to be mindful. Even females, you got to be mindful because there's a lot of, you know, men out here doing witchcraft as well. I feel like everybody thinks they're a damn witch and warlock now because YouTube videos. It's just crazy. So you always got to be protecting your energy because you never know who's out there manipulating it. And we all have the power to demand and command our energy back to us and send back whatever doesn't belong to sender. Send that shit right on back. Thank you. No thanks. But I digress. Let's go ahead and proceed with the read, beloveds. Let's proceed with the read. So we're going to pull out some messages from Energy Oracle Deck. And we have the Thinking Woman. And we have Caring Connections on the Split. And I just want to show you what it looks like. So look at that. So you all, doesn't that sound like a te you know somebody who's been teaching and learning? You know, especially with all these books here that she has. If you look, you know, on the ground, she's unmastered all those books and she's carrying a book. And then you see that beautiful butterfly, which is, you know, almost like guiding her up the stairs. So that's about, you know, that's very symbolic of ascension and elevation, you know. And that's the number 47, which is associated or breaks down to 11. And 11 is associated with the, you know, the twin flame. And with this caring connection, I just get a sense of like somebody who's really, you know, realizing, you know, that they do care about you. Because remember, we had 14 first moderation and then the 41 came out for the person that you're attracting, which was self-discipline. So this person had to do some growing up, you know, they had to emote, they had to learn to express their feelings, their emotions. They had to learn to be uh, vulnerable whether this is female or masculine, because you have females out there that don't believe in hugging and loving on their person. And we have um, Curtis Mayfield, and the name of this song is Give Me Your Love. So this person definitely desires your love. This is definitely that person that thinks you of uh, the world of you. They think, you know, you're everything. You know, love is a house. Like, they, they can see, you know, you they feel that you're either maternal or paternal, that you're a provider, a protector, that you're a lover, that you're a nurturer, that you're a healer, that you're caring, that they can have that solid connection, that homie love a friend vibration, you know, someone that could lay with you, pray with you and, 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 and um, play, you know, this person wants your love. This is someone that definitely cares. And you want somebody that loves you and cares about you. Not just somebody who's, you know, loves you but don't show the emotions or the affections. They're afraid to give you a hug. They, you know, they don't like all of that. P what do you call it? P E D public uh display, P E D public display of emotions, P D E or whatever. You know, they don't care. If they feel like hugging you and kissing, they're gonna grab your ass and and and, and kiss you. You know what I'm talking about? Like they don't care. Maybe in the past they did. They was very like, you know, everything was so taboo. You know, they was guarded in that way. They cared about what people thought and what they're going to think and say. And now they just don't care. They're like, look, come here, girl, and give me some of that loving. <laughs> come here, give it. That's an inside joke. That's an inside joke between me and my daughter <laughs> and my son. It's funny. But um, I digress. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's see what's coming in going out going on. For my beautiful Scorpio, we're going to clarify these messages. And we're going to clarify them again. And then we're going to wrap it up. Oh, shit. Somebody could be dealing with someone named Curtis or Mayfield. First, middle, or last. Some of you all could have been born in the year 1972. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? May I have a message of love, a message of light. What messages do you have for my beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, we have Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. Beautiful. What did I say about the first eye? And then you see Sixth Chakra. See, I want to show you because you know I like to show and prove. So we got the Sixth Chakra, Archangel Metatron. So you absolutely, undubitably are intuitive. Someone is fully aware of your intuition because they're watching you too. You know, and I feel like you all are picking up on it. Just like I said, you're picking up on this person. And this person could very well be your divine masculine or your divine feminine that's watching from a distance. 
I feel like you need to trust your intuition. I feel like what what you what's led to the completion of this cycle, to something coming full circle, is the fact that you've trusted your intuition in matters of the heart, in matters that you know contain the heart. Look at this blossoming abundance, and remember we had that bloom song playing by Ravina. So there's definitely you know something blossoming now because someone is kind of like getting rid. You know, getting rid of this this old stale, stagnant energy. With this blossoming abundance, it's like someone has been working diligently. This 41, that 5, that's a very studious energy. That's someone very persistent and consistent with trying to clear up whatever this, this old murky, dark energy, you know, that's throwing voodoo, hoodoo, juju, hexes and spells and shit, doing magical spells, keeping secrets and lies deception this is like forked tongue judas energy just uh puppeteering ish with this blossoming abundance i feel like there's some sort of like somebody strategizing maybe they're getting their paper up their money up so that they can exit so that they can leave something behind i feel like somebody's going to receive some sort of unexpected money we got raekwon heaven and hell yeah so this person definitely is is living in hell right now but they are ascend they trying to get out of it you know so they're manifest like they're planning something there's some sort of blessing that's going to come from the heavens i feel like some sort of wish fulfillment mon monetarily financially so that they can leave so let's see why is this 41 self discipline hex book of shadows here for my uh, for the person that is um, that Scorpio is attracting, they have a message of love and light spirit. Why is this 41 self-discipline hex book of shadows here? Thank you. Damn, that card flew up like bam. This is the message. And we have door to value. See that? Door to romance, rather. So this is somebody that absolutely loves you. I feel like this person realizes you're the one. You're the one that got away. This 5 and this 6 reduces to 11. And remember what I just said. 11 is associated with what? With that twin flame number. So this is the other half of the 11. Remember, I showed you 47, thinking woman. And I was like, that's the, you know, that's the number associated with the twin flame. And so look, this person, I feel like love. What do you believe in? Heaven or hell? I don't believe in hell. Something's, what do they say in the song? That's what they say in the lyrics. What do you believe? So this person is not believing in, you know, this situation they could be trapped in. What's keeping them afloat, what's keeping them, that you know, pushing forward is they're listening to their intuition. Because even though 11 is a master number, when I break it down is because it calls for it. So the 11 breaks down to two, which is high priestess. So this person is listening to their intuition as well to get out of dodge. Because this is like they're, they're trapped in something very dark. But what keeps them abreast, what keeps them afloat is this, this door to romance. It's like there's some sort of epiphany, some aha. Because that six is really like, again, first eye. First eye is open wide. Like, oh, I need to go that way. I need to get up out of this trap. I need to get up out of this murky water. And I need to go that way. How they feel about you, we're about to clarify. We have 19, rest and rejuvenation. So they absolutely feel like you've been, you know, you tapped out and you're tapping in. You know what I'm talking about? Like you're doing that meditation. You know what I'm saying? You're going within, taking them deep dives. You're reflecting, self-analysis. And this is what's helping you to heal and rejuvenate your spirit, your soul. And you're also connected very, very closely with your spirit team, your higher self. You know what I'm saying? With, with the divine, with source, with universe. And um, that's how you're able to to, you know, clear up whatever doesn't serve you or wrap up these 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 karmic cycles, because you've learned these lessons by, you know, trusting your intuition, you know, your intuition. Remember, six chakra and then you have this 22 here, you know, 22 and the 40 is still four. So this is what leads to, you know, some sort of major breakthrough spiritually for you like you are absolutely like tapped in tuned in like you are initiates you are chosen you are psychic remember we saw um spiritual career so there is some level of like you know some very very strong um psychic powers intuition or you know something that you have that you are to share with the world we have uh the promised land this is called uh 
This is by uh, J. Cole and Andre, and it's called The Promised Land. So, yeah, there's something beautiful. You know, this is like uh, all this. Remember what I was saying earlier is like that determination and drive was what motivated you. That's what fueled, you know, all of this. Everything that you've gone through was like you knew there was something better on the other side. You knew that if you kept going, that it was going to get better. And it's like there's now this opportunity for everything all your wishes hopes all your dreams everything you've been praying for all the petitions you've sent up all those written manifestations it's all coming into fruition whatever you've been asking for it's pro it's being given to you you know spirit has promised you and it's because you've wrapped up those cycles you've learned some very valuable lessons very valuable lessons and for that you are being rewarded without a question and without a doubt you know, and this 10, you know, you're coming out of that, that very protective bubble, you know, out of that safe space. And you're going to, you know, move forward powerfully, confidently, passionately towards your dreams. But this person definitely realizes that you've been in this, you know, this hermit mode. You've been in this protective bubble, just, you know, really working on the self. And I feel like, you know, they admire you even more. You know, I feel like this person wants to come and promise you forever you know like offer you some sort of promise ring you know wow this person absolutely sees you as someone very very successful remember when i was talking about that seed that you sowed look at that whatever was blooming it blossomed it created a harvest but more importantly this is the carnucopia so you are going to be fed for today and the rest of your tomorrows like this is a card that's saying like this is not just rec rewards and recognitions. This is like blessings. This is spirit gifting you with abundance, opulence, success. And everyone is going to uh, witness this. You know, this is like you are being celebrated almost. And we have the world card. I can't make this up. You got a couple of cards that flew out. And I felt good about them or else I would have put them back. So the world came out. You also have. Uh, 37 third chakra I can't make this up I've been talking about the third chakra the whole reading there goes the third chakra we also have journey I mentioned a spiritual journey that you all have been on dark night of the soul journey and then we have magic magician I was just talking about people who going on YouTube videos thinking they witches and warlocks and doing you know what I'm saying but you become master manifestors as well when you you know realize that you are co-creators you start utilizing all of the elements around you, water, fire, earth, air, and ether. And you start manifesting and setting intention and calling in what you want. Whatever you think of the most is what you create. And I feel like spirit is recognizing with this world card, this speaks to you graduating, you leveling up. I was seeing with that thinking woman how, you know, the butterfly was leading that divine feminine up the stairs, even if it's a masculine, you know, gender is just gender, but the energy is what we need to focus on. The energy was going up the stairs, which means ascension, which means growth, which means elevation. And so that butterfly in and of itself represents transformation. It represents a startling metamorphosis. The books are symbolic of learning wise dome. I was speaking of, you know, the application of knowledge becoming wise dome. And so this person now, which is who you are in this person's eyes that you're attracting because they see you as someone who's been teaching and learning. You've been teaching them and learning in your process of healing and growing. And that's why you have this carnucopia here because you're being rewarded and you're being rewarded because you've completed this cycle. And we have 1111 here. So this person could be at a distance from you. It could be emotional distance, physical distance. You know what I'm saying? Because I was picking up and am picking up that there's no communication at this time. Um, because I feel this person is still tied to someone, something that's very toxic, an ex, a karmic, whatever. And they're working their way out of it to get back to you. Because I was here, I'll be working my way back to you, babe. Now I'm hearing that. But with this um, third chakra, see that? This is how they see you, very strong. You, you, you really stand your ground. You don't take no mess. This is something you've learned to do. To not back down, to not, you know, just just shy away or to just, you know, self-sabotage or to appease and please. You're not doing that no more. This is like really you owning your power, standing in your power, speaking your truth. You see how the stomach and then that heart 
you know, is, is both illuminated. They say this, the, the uh, solar plexus and the heart chakra is like literally they are attached. You know, it's like connected. So that's why it's like you're going to, um, you know, um, really be uh, more emotionally intelligent. And you're going to stand, you know, up for what you believe in. And so this journey is very powerful because now you are trusting your intuition and you're going in the direction that you see fit. That's why you was clearing house. That's why you was taking the time out to rest and rejuvenate so you could get things straight. You know what I'm talking about? Like you could contemplate, meditate, get things straight. That is the most important thing. Before you take action, you got to get things straight. Figure out your strategize, you know, figure out where you're going, how you're going to go. You got to do your, your, you know what I'm saying? got to do your checks and balances, so to speak. And um, look at that, the, ma the, the magician in the mirror. So this is that, that, that very powerful energy of like master manifesting, co-creating with source, you know. And this is how they see you as someone very magical, someone very powerful. Someone that knows their worth, knows their value. And what we have on the bottom of the deck is 24 adjacent possibilities so this is what's hidden there's options here you're going to have choices and remember when i was um i was saying that um what was playing um somebody was questioning like do you want me or um something to that i forgot who was who was singing it but i was saying like this is what this person is thinking like do you want them you know what i'm saying like do you, are you going to want them when they return because they know you have options you know, when you're in this divine feminine or divine masculine energy, you attract. You don't chase ish. You attract ish. You attract all kind of stuff to you. So it's like, like I said, you're going to have options. You're going to have, um, you know, there's, there's just going to be some options out here for you. I used the term earlier that there's going to be a lot of people vetting for your attention either way. And with this adjacent possibilities at six. Um, you know, someone feels, you know, this distance, you know, they feel like you've moved on, you know, and we got Luther Vandross, um, and this is a serenade to Smokey Robinson. I can't hear which song he's singing. But with Smokey, I don't know, maybe this person, maybe with this uh, synchronicity and this Lord God uh, masculine, because I, I just get a sense like maybe somebody was, you know, a heavy chiefer, you know what I'm saying? Somebody, you know, maybe somebody's name was Luther or Robinson. Um, but I also get a sense of this person like wanting to serenade you because I do see it says Luther Vandross serenades uh, Smokey Robinson. This is like one of those old award shows back in the days, like when they used to do it right. I can't I don't even watch award shows anymore because I can't stand the music now. Anywho, but anyway, but yeah, so like this is somebody that definitely wants to come back and serenade you. You know what I'm saying? They want to woo you because remember music played. And I was picking up on somebody that could be a musician, someone that was into the arts or something, someone that may play an instrument. Maybe they just want to sit back. Maybe they've written a song in your honor. You know what I'm talking about? Like this is somebody that definitely um, wants to serenade, wants to court, wants to wine and dine, wants to, you know, it's like they, they want to treat you right. It's like they appreciate you more now than ever. Why is this 87 synchronicity, Lord God, masculine here for uh, my beautiful Scorpios? And I have a message of love and a message of light, spirit. Why is 87? Thank you, spirit. Look at that. I can't make this ish up. I cannot. Look at that. Sun. The sun is here. This person absolutely thinks the world of you. You bring happiness. You bring joy. You bring all of these emotions that this person has never felt before. And that's why I feel like they want to serenade you because it's really like they they want to show you now. Maybe in the past they didn't show you. They didn't express these things. And I also have storm warning here that flew out as well. And this is going to clarify 66 healing and magic. So there's some intense exchanges going on behind the scenes, I feel. But remember, you know, whoever angers you, controls you. 
And this could be for either you or your person. Take heed. But the beautiful thing about that card, the storm warning, is it's a 10. So that's an ending. So maybe there's going to be an exchange, hostility, arguments, conflict, because someone is finally saying, I'm done. Somebody is no longer under the spell because they're healing. They're working on themselves. And the more they heal, the more they see the truth, the more they see the light. The sun illuminates everything, brings truth to light. You know, in the bottom of the deck, see that 18. So someone's really up in their head. This is anxiety. Regret, remorse, mental conflict. Someone could be really confused or conflicted or very um, anxious about how to leave a situation or circumstance behind to go after what they want. Let me get one more card to clarify. 66 healing, candles, magic, and this 10 storm warning. Bottom of the deck, we got fifth chakra. Didn't I tell y'all? I'm telling you, I can't play. I don't play and I, I won't play. Look, I just said hostility. This just flew out. But I wanted to show you the bottom of the deck, which was the, um, you can see, this is the bottom of the deck. That's the deck. And that's the fifth chakra. And I was telling you, this person wants to communicate with you. But there will be some hostile, hostile exchanges, you know, when this person tries to part ways or leave whatever, cut whatever off. They're going to be met with some hostility. And we have, um, we have Junior. Mama used to say, maybe the person you're dealing with is a junior. Maybe, like I said, this was somebody who was acting immature or childish in the past. Maybe emotionally immature. Maybe they're dealing with someone who's emotionally manipulative or immature. Whatever it is with this, uh, this three, this one, which is four, and this eight, that's 12. And that reduces to three. So there's going to be some situation. That's why somebody's going to be healing because they're going to go through something, you know, very heartbreaking or very, uh, you know, very um, painful, you know. But somebody is really, really frustrated here, really angry because when you got storm warning and then hostilities, you know, but then you have this, you know, this fifth chakra archangel, maybe someone will finally come in and then I say yin yang. It's requiring divine timing and patience. Good things take time to create, but patience is also a form of action. And I feel like you all have been very proactive on healing yourselves. And that may be what has triggered your person to want to make this move. But with mama used to say, take your time, young man. Maybe this is something their mothers used to tell them. Don't just go jumping in relationships with these girls because they fast. And you know how mamas be, especially melanated mamas. They're going to tell their sons because they love their sons. They be like, look, you know, I don't like her. <laughs> She fast in the ass. She don't know how to cook. She can't feed my baby. She don't know how to cook. She ain't feeding you. And it's just like, look, you don't need to be telling your son to eat everybody's food in the first place. But nah, maybe their mother used to tell them something about someone that they're with. You know, maybe the mom forewarned their son. Because mothers could see, you know, you know, when it comes to other women, like we could see beyond all of, you know, all of the pretty that the men be all tantalized and and, and mesmerized by the mothers could see beyond all that, you know, and get on down to the soul of the person, you know. Um, and, and maybe that's why, you know, mama used to say, because, you know, now it's almost like they looking back, reflecting back, like, damn, my mom told me that she was X, Y, and Z, or my mom told me that he was X, Y, and Z, you know, because there could have been a mother that told their daughter or told their son, you know, the same thing, you know, told their daughter, like, look, that, that guy is not the one. You know, he is not the one. He a player, you know, first and foremost. He got the gift of gab. He out there running game, you know, and, and, and she thought she was the only one. She thought she was special or she thought she could change him. And, and, and boy, the joke be on the ones that think they can change a mofo because the only person that could change you is you. The only person that could change that person is themselves. But we got this fifth chakra. So there's some communication I feel like someone is mustering up the strength and courage to come your way. Uh, and they will eventually do so once this cycle has com completed. That's why that completion is here because they're still wrapping it up. And it's not easy because they had somebody doing some sort of spell work on them. Hexes and Book of Shadows and all this craziness. You know, and it was like love spells because, you know, with this door to romance, you know, somebody was definitely performing some sort of love spells or breakup spells and marriage spells and binding spells and all kind of crazy spells that keep somebody stuck which is very desperate you know in my opinion 
you know, just let nature take its course. But I digress. I'm not here to judge. All right, so let's see what we got coming in going on. I'm going to pull some messages from the Gilded. All right, so on the bottom of the deck, we got the Eight of Wands. So somebody is definitely working their way to you. This is a message. This could be somebody shooting you a message, a text, a phone call, an email. This could even be somebody traveling to see you. I feel like there's some sort of clarity or truth that's coming to light. Because this sun is like, you know, literally shining super bright in the background. Somebody's had some sort of wake up call or some sort of epiphany. And we have the Six of Pentacles on the um, split. So this was not an equal give and take. This was definitely somebody who was breadcrumbing. And now they feel left out in the cold. Because I feel like you may have moved on. With Mama used to say, what you, you know, what you put out is what you get back. Maybe somebody's receiving a little bit of karma. Didn't I mention the seven of wands? That's how they looking at you, you know, because remember we had that um, 22 and the 57 and I was saying that was seven. And so I was picking up how they felt you all were very guarded, you know, very blocked off. You set up boundaries and there goes that seven of wands. And it was because they were sitting there trying to breadcrumb you or trying to treat you like an option or like the others. And, and you just wasn't having it. You wasn't on that type of time. And look, what did you do? You bolted your ass out of there. There goes the six of swords. This is you moving on, leaving all of the not negativity and the drama behind. This is a very powerful energy. Because this is just really about your peace, your solitude. You're not going to be there bickering, arguing and fighting. You're not going to be somebody's afterthought. You're just going to keep it pushing. And that's really an energy of self-love. Now somebody's up in their head. You know, maybe they were confused, you know, stuck between, you know, two options. Maybe they were really not being forthcoming or honest. You know, they had a lot of options and you wasn't going to be option number three or four or five. You just wasn't playing those games. And so now this person, what? There goes the lovers. Now that you're gone, we got the uh, lovers there. I mentioned the lovers. And then the six of swords is on the split. So now that you done moved on, this is what they're daydreaming about. You know, this is when they start singing the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Mama used to tell me like, you know, one day you're going to get bit <laughs> by the smitten bug when you're playing them games. The play going to get played. And now the play is sitting here looking back like, damn, I let a real one go. Whether that's a feminine or masculine energy, it does not matter. So let's go ahead and clarify these messages. Now they're watching you. What did I say? They're watching Watching from a distance with the page of swords. I told you y'all had a watcher. You had a watcher on your hands. And they're watching. Not only are they watching, they're studying, they're learning, and they're being inspired. And why? Because you are the empress. This is the empress energy that I was picking up on. The divine feminine who knows her worth. Styles of creativity is what I give birth to. Those are mine, by the way. <laughs> So let's tap in. All right. We're going to cut the deck. And we have Method Man. This is called Release Your Doubt. So, yeah, that's what this person is realizing. They got to release themselves from something that they feel bound and stuck and stagnant, you know, energetically anchored. And it's because they are being all of the aforementioned by someone doing some old desperate attempts at keeping someone put. And we have the Two of Swords. So there goes that energy of being in two minds, you know, needing to listen to one's intuition, needing to trust what you are feeling, you know, not what you're seeing so much because people can, you know, they could say anything, but it's, it's really about what they are showing you with their actions. And when they're not showing you much with their actions, then you got to trust what you're feeling intuitively. And so that's what you're doing because the two of swords, you know, that's really like, having that little bit of confusion but with this meg you know archangel uh metatron six chakra here this is you saying okay i gotta trust my intuition you know that's what's going to take me um you know that's what's going to to help me um obtain this clarity you know because someone was very conflicted themselves and that's why it was confusing you because they would say one thing but their actions would show you different you know and so that's why me for me i like to show and prove so that there's no confusion you know even when i do these dark night of the soul i said dark night of the soul these um dark matter series reading readings i still like to show you the cards because 
Sometimes I don't want you to feel like I'm just saying things. I like to show and prove like, nah, I ain't making that up. It's right here. Boom. This is the name of the song. Boom. That's playing. This is this card that I'm talking about. Boom. I just mentioned it. Boom. There it is. So I digress. But with um, on the bottom of the deck, we have the tower. So someone's absolutely going through some sort of ending. Lies are being exposed. Something's coming to light in regards to some sort of hex. And that's why it's being banished. Because that is the key word on this hex card is banishment. So that when you're banishing something, you're expelling it, you're purging it, you're releasing it, you're getting rid of it. You know, and it's because somebody was doing some sort of spells. And now this is allowing someone to remember love, to remember the feelings of love. You know, maybe that's where you come into mind or you come back into uh, this person's, you know, this is like that, that uh, very reminiscent or... Uh, nostalgic uh, feeling that they start you know picking up on or having but we have on the bottom of the deck this tower so towers represent painful endings and this is doing part to lies remember we got book of shadows secrets so the secrets the lies it, it it brought this tower down spirit got so perturbed by this mess that it struck this tower and said you know destroy destroy the tower so that everything could be rebuilt from a solid foundation because there was a lack of, uh, there was just a lack of respect. There was a lack of trust, honesty. There was lies. There was deception. There was all type of mess. And with release yo delf by Method Man, someone was very strategic. You know what I'm saying? It was very strategic in walking away or getting out. Remember, I was picking up on somebody trying to get their money together. You know, strategizing a plan to get out. So release yo delf is yourself. It's just in method talk, <laughs> in method, uh, you know, uh, verbiage. But yeah, they, they definitely are, you know, this it's almost like the gift and the curse, you know, like this is an opportunity now for them to free themselves. You know, they're releasing themselves from something that was keeping them bound and stuck. Look at that. I can't make this up. There goes the chariot. For full steam ahead. Every card that I have pulled out, I mentioned so the chariot is about what? Confidence, assertiveness. You know, this is somebody who's grounded, balanced, and in alignment. And now they're moving forward. Where are they moving forward? Towards this, this romance, you know. Because somebody done been reminded, you know, of what true love is. What it feels like. What it looks like. And it's not where they are now. So they're leaving that behind to go towards what they truly feel. And we got the eight of pentacles here. This is, uh, we're about to clarify how they feel about you. So they definitely feel you work hard. They definitely feel like you have mastered yourself, like you're self-sufficient, self-reliant, independent. And your independence is really attractive because it's a foundation for all of the aforementioned, your stability, your security, your happiness. And you're very diligent, very determined. Wasn't I picking up on some of you all who had that determined, willful energy, driven, goal-oriented, just very diligent. You know, and this is what that looks like. That's why you're being rewarded here, you know, and that's why that world card is here. Because as I said, it's about graduating. That's about, you know, leveling up. You know, this is about you um, receiving that that recognition that's deserved because you've worked very hard. This is you up late nights, early a.m.s. You know, very studious energy, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. You could even see the books, you know. Like I said, those books are very um, indicative of, you know, studentship. It's right here. It's kind of dark, but they're right, right there, you know. So let's tap in. So how does this person feel that Scorpio is attracting with this 22 intuition, 57 teaching and learning, broomstick clearance, the carnocopia, 29 the world, 37 third chakra, um, solar plexus, two journey and 53 magician in the mirror. So they absolutely see you as a master manifester. There's no question and no doubt about it. This card flew up and out. What did I say? I cannot make this up. Two of cups. Equal give and take. Equal exchange. They feel you speak their love language. That's why they are on their way back to you, beloveds. They are zoom zooming. This is like they love you. The, the, with the daughter romance and the chariot. Like they, This is like, this is urgent. This is an urgent matter. Like this ain't something they going to sleep on forever like they are feeling very encouraged motivated to come towards you because they love you i can't make this up i can't make this up knight of wands you know this person could have been very like 
you know, flighty, compulsive, impulsive, in and out, you know, playing a lot of games in the past. I was picking up on immaturity and ego being inflated, somebody being just entitled and, you know, and, and so they could have been like in, out, playing games, you know, until you just, you wasn't willing to play anymore. They've had an epiphany with the synchronicity here. It's like now they're trying to get on your wavelength. That's why they are showing up as this Lord God, this divine masculine. They've stepped their game up a little bit. And so we have the Knight of Wands flew right back out. So yeah, this is somebody coming in passionately as well. You know, it's almost like, you know, the intensity is is like, it's like the, the, the passion is intensifying. You can see that volcano exploding in the background. So it's like something is in, it's like it's imploding. You know, these emotions, these feelings, it's like they're having this grand epiphany. And what they're realizing is y'all have more in common than they initially realized or anticipated or were willing to admit. And we have DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, and this is summertime. And remember earlier we had something about summertime, so something could have happened in the summertime. We had Stevie Wonder saying, I never imagined um, you would leave. and You know, I never dreamt you'd go away in the summer. And so maybe there was some sort of break during a summer month. Maybe this is someone that, you know, that is uh, born in the summertime or I'm getting July, I'm getting June. Somebody who's born during um, the, during those warmer months, the summer months. And someone could be really reflecting on their life. I see the Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So this is someone wanting to come in and make a solid offer, a genuine offer. This is someone that definitely is being acknowledged and and blissed with an, a new opportunity after getting rid of something toxic after you know releasing someone or something toxic out of their life because we have life playing by uh casey and jojo life fly life fly life fly so somebody's purging someone out of their life that's what this hostility and the storm one, and it's like somebody's getting rid of all of that because they're focusing on their healing. They're focusing on, you know, self-love, self-care, self-worth, you know, healing thyself, loving thyself, knowing thyself. Like, in order for you to do all of the self stuff, you have to take care of the self, prioritize the self, and not let this toxic-ass energy, you know, manipulate yours. So someone's absolutely, you know, looking at their life, looking at the long, you know, the the um, bigger picture but this ace of pentacles is saying there's a beautiful gift awaiting this union so we got three cards that flew out to clarify we have the five of cups i mentioned that the page of swords i mentioned that and the death so there is going to be some sort of painful ending someone's leaving something behind but remember when i was speaking of transformation you know look at the five of cups and the page of swords this is what this person resorts to you know, they're, they're literally like watching you from a distance, but they have deep regrets, deep remorse because whoever they're with, it's like their energy is completely opposite of yours. You know what I'm saying? And they took it for granted. Like they didn't really appreciate you until you said, I'm out of here. The death card is your energy, scorpionic energy all day. So you showing up in your reading for the outcome, you know? This is the transformation. This is really what they want. You know, they've literally watched you transform. They've watched you evolve. They've watched you manifest new things in your life. But you're also, you've emerged someone completely different. And this is something they admire. You know, you've transformed your life. And you're living a different type of life. Like you're living very much in your power. You know, utilizing your creative energy. And you're very protective of your energy. Very guarded and rightfully so. So let's clarify these messages and then we're going to wrap it up. Going to use my deck. So let's see what we got on the split, beloved. Wow. <laughs> Look what we got on the split. Don't eat everybody's food. It says, don't let everyone in your home. Don't eat everyone's food and don't let everyone in your home. So that makes a lot of sense, especially... Now that we see with this hex in this book of shadows here. So perhaps that was what mama used to tell somebody. And they did not listen, beloveds. They did not listen. And now they're singing, I'm sure they could have water blues. Like, damn, I should have listened to my moms. And we have Prince and the New Power Generation. This is called Cream. 
So we have um, two cards that just flew out. It says do something for yourself, watch a sunset, take a drive, purchase some lingeries, silk boxes, a piece of jewelry, just love on you. So that's what your higher self instructed you to do. Focus on you. Don't focus on the problem. Focus on the solution. The solution is always within you. Changing you. You can't change your man. You can't change your woman. You can't change even the circumstance. You could change yourself and you could change your response. So I feel like that's what you all started to do. You really started to focus on self-love, self-care, and that grew into you really starting to do that healing process. Regal, royal, and there's levels and you supersede them diamond in the rough this is how this person realized you know thinks of you as you are someone very rare very royal very regal very attractive very very much radiating that energy of love and light and nurturing and maternal or paternal type of energy they just see you in a different light in comparison to others with analysis paralysis stop thinking we're about to clarify the person you're attracting this is what they're doing up in their head constantly you know, with what to say, how to say it, desiring to speak to you. Because remember, we had the 41 uh, self-discipline. And remember, the 41 breaks down to five, which is that throat chakra that I was uh, mentioning before. So they are literally like suffering from analysis paralysis, constantly thinking about you. We even saw the um, anxiety card in the energy oracle deck. So they're really suffering from mental conflict and regret and remorse and, and pining and ruminating over this circumstance. Um, and I do feel like a lot of that also is, you know, they're, they're a little cloudy in two minds uh, because of whomever they're dealing with that's manipulating their energy as well. So it's hard for them to see things. They could have some sort of psychic attack that's uh, taking place as well where somebody is fuzzing, you know, someone's mental, you know, kind of like clouding, I should say. That's a better way to express it. So let me see. Why is this 41 self-discipline hex? Book of Shadows, Magic, 33. I mean, Book of Shadows, Secret, 33. Daughter Romance. And this chariot here for the person Scorpio is attracting. And we have Crazy and Deranged. I can't make this ish up. Caution. See that? Someone didn't take heed to those red flags. Somebody was carrying a bouquet of red flags for real, for real. And they ignored it. They igged it. They definitely igged it. This is why Junior was playing Mama used to say. So everything their mother told them or even their father, everything they was forewarned of, they did not listen. And they got trapped and stuck with a crazy deranged mofo that's sitting here doing this ish to them. And that's why they was trapped. That's why they were stuck. That's why there was even confusion, perhaps in, you know, within the connection with you because they couldn't see things clearly. The next card we have is we have basic instructions before leaving Earth, seeking higher knowledge. So this is what they could be doing. They could be praying, you know, because all of these cards flew out. I forgot to explain that. All of these cards flew out when I asked to clarify um, you know, the aforementioned, the, you know, the energy for the person you're attracting. So this person could be reading their Bible, which is what may have awakened them to the fact that something was wrong within their relationship. Maybe they were going to a pastor because at 41, remember it's associated with the hierophant. So they were seeking wise counsel, maybe going to a pastor, a preacher, maybe a master teacher, maybe an elder, a matriarch, patriarch in their family, seeking wise counsel, seeking a higher learning, or just seeking advice and maybe they've learned something um we also have family time build connect check in so maybe they are taking that time out to you know just sit at the feet of the elders around them maybe some of the elders that were married for a long period of time seeking advice and maybe they're getting some really deep you know some really deep uh counsel from these elders and they're realizing like okay this is you know what they're describing as a healthy love ship uh is completely opposite of what i am currently dealing with um they could be dealing with someone very hostile very very uh crazy and deranged as the card just showed next we have be healthy health is wellness so whatever relationship they're in it isn't a healthy relationship there's something very imbalanced within that dynamic and i feel like that's why they're ready to take charge move forward and leave that situation behind um and we also have done done finn i can't make this up so they've made a decision to leave it they've made a decision to move on they've made a decision to choose themselves and they are done so that's why this daughter romance is opened because now they are more receptive 
uh, you know, to this new connection or to this actual real love ship and connection they feel with you with Prince and the new power generation cream. I am absolutely feeling that this person person is very attracted to you. Uh, they could self please. They could dream. They could have wet dream. I mean, you know, anything could be going on. Um, but they also see you as very successful because I'm also getting that Wu Tang song, cash rules, everything around me, cream, get the money, dollar dollar bill, y'all. And then look what we have on the bottom of the deck. We got financial freedom, success. So, yeah, this person sees you as very successful, very opulent. They see that you have really been working on yourself, um, you know, yourself in terms of your overall self. Uh, you may have been working on your physical health, you know, where you've been, you know, maybe you've been changing your eating habits. Maybe you've been working on your mental health where you've been just, you know, changing your thought process, ideologies, belief systems. Maybe you've been working on your monetary health where you've been just practicing you know, being more frugal, saving your money, you know, practicing financial literacy, but they just see a change within you. That's why that death card showed up because you have completely transformed and emerged someone new, someone completely new. And it's really, you know, as in inspiring and as attractive as it is, it's also very intimidating, but that is perhaps what has triggered them to do their work. Because as I said, Scorpios are conduits of change and you also can transmute any type of energy, negative energy especially, and you turn pain into power, you turn your vulnerabilities into superpowers, and that becomes very attractive. So this person sees you as very successful. They see you as financially free, someone independent. So let's see, why is 22, um, intuition, 57, teaching and learning, um, broomstick clearance, carnucopia, 37, uh, solar plexus, 53, Magician in the Mirror, and 29, the World card here for how this person, our beautiful Scorpios, are attracting field along with the Two of Cups. Otherwise, all of the aforementioned cards here for how this person feels about our beautiful Scorpios. Okay, too many cards. Come on. Bang, bang, boogie, bang, bang, boogie. Thank you, Spirit. Let's get another shuffle. So how does this person feel? Why does... The 22, Intuition, 57, Teaching and Learning, Broomstick, Clearance, Carnucopia, World Card. Woo! Goodness gracious, this ish did a 360 turn. Like, it says, you are beauty in every fashion of the word, internal, external. And it says, it's not what you think further. Investigation needed. See that? This is what they think of you. You're beautiful in every fashion of the word. This person absolutely thinks the world of you. They think everything of you. As I said, they could be self-pleasing because we still have Prince and the new power generation. They see you in a new light. They also see you as very powerful. And they also feel, you know, like they want to be your prince, your knight in shining armor. They want to come in very chivalrous, very, you know, very, uh, you know, very, very caring, very loving. You know, even if this is a feminine, like she wants to be very nurturing and, and very uh, maternal, like just that loving, tender, loving care type of energy, very attentive, very affectionate. And it says it's not what you think further investigation needed. So this person could be like really, um, you know, maybe they are saying some things about this connection um, and, and they need to investigate, which could be why they're watching. You know, they could be spying. Maybe they think that you're in a relationship. You know, they could think that you are already tied to someone because they see you as an empress. So, you know, they see that you could have anyone you want. And look what we have here. Breaking generational curses, yokes, karmic cords. You're powerful and un um, and um, owning it. Congrats. So this is the energy. We're about to clarify what's hidden. And remember, we have 87. And I was saying that there's this connectivity or this very strong bond the two of you share. And obviously, we see that because there's a lot of dual numbers, 22, 66, 33. You know what I'm saying? And then we also saw um, 88 abundance earlier when we were shuffling the cards. We saw 11. Um, so those are just signs that you're, you're in the same energy. But with this healing, both of you are healing from certain curses, hexes, karmic relationships, um, yokes that you may have had on you, uh, generational curses that may have been in your family. So that's why there's this energy of synchronicity because you are like-minded. You are, you know, you have similar stories, twin flames, you know, they have past life 
connections and some of you all could have been with this individual in a former life that's possible that six lovers also can insinuate that as well is that there's some sort of past life connection that's why the the relationship with the chemistry feels so intense and i definitely am sensing like you know with this divine masculine card here uh with the you know lord god uh, and the sun, it's like, you know, there's been some sort of um, cutting of some sort of tie, some yoke. And that's why now there's clarity. And we can see with the hex that could have been the reason why someone was very confused or foggy mentally. Um, you know, because they were mind upped. You know, that's being gaslit, tricked, duped. Um, but now there's clarity here. So someone is realizing, you know, a lot of their behavior, a lot of their play of ways. It was self-sabotage. Um, so let's see. And they was, you know, almost living out these self-fulfilling prophecies as well. Like, you know, when you say negative things like I'm never going to be married or I'm never going to be in a relationship and I'm a player for life and, you know, and all that crazy stuff, then, you know, be careful what you wish for. So we have feather protection and love from your guardian angels hone your skills gift talents practice makes perfect and remember i was picking up with that music card some of you all or even the person you're attracting could be musicians but look at this energy this is a very spiritual connection remember when i was breaking down the lovers how there's an angel overseeing that union well that's what this feather is very symbolic of that there's angels that are protecting this union, that are working behind the scenes, conspiring behind the scenes to bring this union into fruition. And this is what I feel that um, that your divine masculine is becoming to recognize. But with this hone your skills, gifts, and talents, this is also saying that there's uh, someone that's gifted musically, talented in some way, artistically even. Um, and they're just, you know, utilizing that time in between, you know, the long pauses, the no contact, the no communication to master their craft, to sharpen their sword, to heal themselves, to to grow, to evolve. Um, and that's what is, um, you know, making this process uh, become it's like it's, it's helping this process along, to be honest with you. And we have celibacy, no self pleasure, maintaining self control. So one half of this couple is really practicing, you know, celibacy. So some of you all that are listening could be celibate. You could be going on. I'm hearing four, the number four, four years of celibacy, maybe even some of you three um, years of celibacy. So there's someone who's absolutely like self-pleasuring. And then there's others of you. And that's why you're so powerful. People don't realize like your, your sexual energy is very, very powerful energy. It could heal. Like people don't realize that that tantric um, energy is really powerful. And so when you are retaining that, when you are like retaining that, that semen or you're retaining, you know, you are really in your power, beloveds. And someone is really practicing celibacy at this time. And that's why they are in this powerful energy and it's helping them to heal uh believe it or not uh right now we have black street joy so someone feels you know like you bring joy and look what just flew out look what just flew out as i said that earth angel you are my precious so someone absolutely feels you're their angel you have taught them many lessons you know, they feel you have this angelic presence, this radiance, this love, this light. And then we have believe you can and you will. So someone's willpower, determination has led to them persevering through very painful, difficult circumstances. They've risen like the phoenix from the ashes. Regardless of how the circumstances appeared, they kept it moving, kept it going, defied the odds. And I have ringing in the ears on the bottom of the deck. So some of you all may be receiving those type of sensations. If your right ear is ringing, that means spirit is communicating with you. An angel, ancestor, spirit guide, or someone you have a very strong energetic connection to. Like a twin flame, like a cosmic companion. Um, if you're left, that's a message from your higher self. Uh, that there's a shift um, in your vibrational field, perhaps. Uh, it could be negative, it could be positive, but that, that's a message telling you, like, expect a shift, expect some sort of, um, you know, situation that's going to, you know, require you pivoting, 
but this is absolutely a beautiful, beautiful reading. I don't know why I want to continue to go on and go on, but I think I'm going to wrap it up right there. This has been an efficient message. We got some good messages here uh, with joy playing. Like I said, better days ahead. Y'all are going to be joyful. You're going to be singing your praises. This is an energy of just feeling elated and content and happy. Uh, perhaps maybe this conversation with this person that's very, very determined to come towards you, very determined to express to you or emote how they feel because they have hid this emotion or this feeling from you for a long time. Um, but I feel that there's a very strong passion. Uh, I also feel like there's blessings coming in, rewards, recognition from spirit, like Carnucopia showed up, the Ace of Pentacles showed up. That's really just spirit blessing you and showering you with everything you deserve, like you deserve it. So you're being rewarded, you know, and it's coming right in time for your solar returns, beloved. This is a beautiful message. Know that you are being watched by, I would say, or call this a secret admirer. Um, the secret admirer is also, you know, cutting ties with a, a karmic uh, that is a little, uh, like I said, a little crazy and deranged because that's literally what came out. A little 730. I did mention 730 before that crazy and deranged came out. And then voila. But this energy right here is powerful energy, um, especially because this is your solar return. You had creativity, power. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel, ringing in the ears. Uh, the emperor uh, showed up twice because he's on the bottom of the uh, gilded tarot, which is one of the decks that I use. So those are all the energies on the bottom of the deck. So that is a very powerful, powerful energy. And I'm just going to show you. Yeah, somebody's pride and ego is what landed them right into that karmic relationship. It was definitely an incubus, succubus relationship. Somebody got all caught up in something codependent, something very toxic. But these are the cards on the bottom of the decks that I used, with the exception of the ringing in the ears. So this is what we're looking at. So stay in your power, own your power, demand your respect, stand perpendicular in your square. But you have beautiful energy coming in towards you. Um, but I feel someone is definitely, you know, um, dealing with a very toxic energy. And it's, it's just like, you know, they're, they're cutting it off, though. That's the beautiful energy because that 10 and that 26 reduces to um, to 9, you know, from the uh, these two hostile, this hostile hostility and, you know, the uh, storm warning. That's 9. And remember what I said about 9, the highest number of change. So someone is definitely like reflecting on how hostile and toxic a connection got. And that's what's going to lead to them like moving forward, you know. And that's also what's making them realize like, damn, I messed up a good thing. And they kind of missing your energy and your vibration because you wasn't this damn crazy. <laughs> you was not that damn crazy. In fact, you were this <laughs> masculine or feminine. Like you are my precious. Like they looking at you like, damn, how did I mess that up? But they are believing and trusting and, you know, they be, like holding on to faith almost. Like I said earlier, somebody's praying and sending up those petitions and, you know, sending up those requests. And they're, they're trusting that spirit is going to answer them, you know, because they do see you as a wish fulfillment. And we have Boogie Down Production, My Philosophy. So this definitely is someone that... Believes that, you know, if they come in and, and state the facts and, you know, apologize, be honest, you know, their philosophy is that they could win you back. You know, they could win you over because they're telling themselves, believe you can and you will. Maybe they're speaking these affirmations and mantras just to, you know, kind of hype themselves up to come towards you, have that conversation. Because remember the Archangel Gabriel for the chakra showed up. So they will finally uh, open up their throat chakra and say what they feel, say what they have been hiding, you know. Even apologizing perhaps for, you know, what they may have or may not have done in the past. But either way, this is beautiful energy. I'm going to end it there. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in. If you are new, as I said in the very beginning, I hope my messages, my energy, the reading has resonated for you. If you are returning, you already know what it is. But love is love is love is love. I ask of you all, please hit that like button. The like button. The lick, lick, lick 
hit the hit like the like button. <laughs> I'm so corny. Hit that like button and show your girl some love. All right. Get the video. Get the reading into the algorithms so that others can discover the reading so that others can receive the messages from the reading. But uh, until next time, my beloveds, enjoy the rest of your evening, your hump day, whatever day you are listening to this. I send a big fat old ashe to you all. Until next time, peace, love and light. Yay. Uh, yin energy. Your reading is up next. Stay tuned. Love and light, y'all. Peace.